Hello and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today we want to talk about the topic how we can set up a web project with Flutter and also how we can deploy everything in GitHub Pages. For that we will create in terminal, going to the right channels, activate the web application, build our web application and publish it to the github.io. All right, let's get started. So as you can reckon, today we want to talk about a bit more about the terminal and also how we can work with Flutter here. What I will do is I do everything in the terminal and try to explain you what exactly I'm doing. So first of all, we have to work with the Flutter command line tool. And if we enter command channel, we will see that there are four different channels for Flutter. Beta, development, master, and stable. Usually if you install Flutter new, you will always land on stable. It is the most stable version that has tests running, everything works fine, and it is selected by the Flutter team. So they decided this one is a major release, which is perfectly fine for you. Then we have the beta channel. The beta channel means that it's still a bit in development. It is monthly, I think. They take one um, branch that they say this is one is good enough to be in beta and they release that as a better release. So it is from the master channel, one uh, every month that is the best one, or in the eyes of the Flutter team, it is the best one. And last but not least, there is the master channel, and the master channel is really the tip of the newest stuff. So if you are working on master, you get always the newest stuff, but you have also the downside that if something is broken, your thing is also broken. Because we want to work with the web, we have to go to a beta or master channel at the moment, because today or at the moment, the web is still in beta, so we can just use it in one of the channels. So for that, I will get the channel, um, I will go to the master channel, and as you see, as soon as I switch to the master channel, it automatically switches the branch of my um, Flutter to that, and whenever I enter now Flutter Doctor, it will download the newest SDK. And today for me, it's something is additionally special because also the Dart version changes from 2.71 to 2.8. All of that happens inside of that Flutter console, which is pretty neat. So I will speed up that a little and we see us in a second. So now we see we are on the channel master here in Flutter Doctor. It is explicitly set to us. And what we also can see is I can do Flutter upgrade to get the newest version. So let's do that in the next part because, oh, Flutter upgrade. Wow, all right, so after a long while, we finally see we have no connected devices, we are on Channel Master, and the next step that we want to take is we want to enter Flutter config. And if we do so, we get a lot of information, what we can set as infos, and one of the things that I want to show, most likely you will have here nothing set. So it's not even false, you don't see that settings maybe even in the beginning. But because I already enabled Flutter web once and also the macOS desktop, we can see both of them. <clears throat> and what we will want to do now is we want to enable the web config here. So for that, we have to enter Flutter config hyphen hyphen enable web. And if I press now enter, I should get the information that setting enable web value to true. And if we execute once more flutter.config, we see now there is enable web equals true. But now we have already a Flutter project created, right? As you see behind here, we have already the Flutter web tutorial here. And I want now that all the new packages that we get or the new files that we get inside of that folder should be created. For that, we can say flutter create dot. You have to be inside of the package where you create all the files inside. So if I fire that up, we can see Flutter is taking care of all the new files inside of the iOS. That is weird, but what's more interesting is the web part. So we get a favicon, we get an index manifest. So all of you who are working with web will know that. And if we click inside of the uh, Android Studio, we see down here we have we have down here now the web folder, and inside we have different files. So if I enter now Flutter devices, we will see now that there is the Chrome inside. 
And that is very interesting because with that, we can now enter Flutter Run on Chrome. And now our debug mode for the web SDK will be downloaded. Uh, yeah, of course, we have to enter hyphen D for device and then Chrome. Then it's launching now the lib main.dart and it uh, catches all the SDK updates that it needs. And that will maybe take a while again. Let's see you in a second. That weren't faster than accepted. Hey, but now we can see automatically the Chrome browser has speed up. And as you can see, we have immediately our web application. And there are some specifics with that web application. If you are a web developer with JavaScript, HTML, with CSS, with the fundamental things that with the pillars of web development, then you will be a bit afraid inside of Flutter because if we make an inspect here, nothing looks like normal HTML, right? Uh, there is some part of it, but you can't really say what it is. So what you are not able is to open up your browser and just read through the HTML and copy maybe everything from every web page that you like. Because now with the Flutter schematic, it is much harder to copy everything inside. Also what you see, because we are still in a beta phase, is we get some errors here. And even in production, we will get some of these. But what you also can see is it is already pretty responsive uh, because of the material theme. All the material things are already implemented, like at bar, material title. Of course, there are some that are not yet there, but will come soon, hopefully. Let's go to the next topic. We want to initialize a GitHub Pages page for now. So for that, we head over to github.com and we create a new repository for that. So I create a new repository. And now important is it needs to be your username. For me, it is md.weber.github. Dot io. And this GitHub uh, repository name is linked with the GitHub pages and will create automatically an environment for us if you create this repository publicly. And yeah, so for now we create the repository and as you see, nothing is here, that is fine, but we want to upload some existing files or better, we will do that with Git integration. So let's jump back into our Android Studio and what we want to do now is we want to build the web application from Flutter. And with that, we close first this application and clean up here a bit. Uh, you can press Command K to clean up the console. And after that, we want to say Flutter build web, or even better, we want to say Flutter build web hyphen hyphen release so that we get a real production build here. And if you open up in the Android Studio, you can already see if you open up the build, you see down here a folder called web. And inside of web, there will be now some files that we want to deploy at the end. We have a manifest, we have an index.html, some JavaScript that it's transpiled to, we have icons and assets. And all of that we want to deploy now to our GitHub repository. For that, we open up again the terminal and enter the build folder web. So first we have to initialize the Git repository inside of that folder, which I already did. So next we have to set the remote, Git remote add, and then we add this one. So Git remote should deliver us now origin. So we want to add all the files inside of our Git project. With that, we say Git add dot. So, and now all the files are in our commits dash. Now we want to commit them and we give them a message like init project. Now all of them are committed. Next thing is we want to git push them uh, and we want to push them origin master. So I enter my passphrase and we will see we upload everything. And if we check now our repository, we should have all the files from the web file. And what you can do now, if you are that far, you can say md.weber.github.io. And if you get this 404 error, I don't know why, but sometimes you have to add the index.html with it. And what you can see now is we have access to our web folder and with our uh, web project. That's it. Now we have uh, managed to create our own website with Flutter and deploy it with GitHub Actions, uh, with GitHub IO. And another benefit is if you really use that GitHub um, pages, you can see now here, the environment. And if you click down here, you can see it deploys it directly to GitHub uh, pages. And that opens up that page. 
in your case, as I said, that HTML. If you have a solution for that index HTML, please leave it down in the comments. It would be helpful for me. Thank you. All right. So thank you for joining me today on that adventure, how to create a web project from Flutter and Dart and deploy the whole thing on a GitHub pages. If you're interested on that topic, please leave me a like message so I know it. Write down in the comments if you have any questions and feel free to ask me everything. On the right side, you will find as always the subscribe button and on top of me, you have two videos that you are maybe interested in. So enjoy the rest of your day and see you tomorrow. Bye.